Before stepping into that, first you have to pull like this to the ear. Whenever we treat the patient, always we have to pull like this initially, but and also press to the tragus. This is the anti tragus, this is the tragus, this is the anti tragus, and then before that, our hand should be hygienic. But now we completed this wiping to the entire ear. So, wherever you want it to apply, don't apply here itself, but you try to apply the entire ear or the swab that would be really good to get the hygienic of this entire region. So, now let me proceed for the lobe. So, lobe is divided into nine divisions, but here is the most imperative you would like to see. Now, I wanted to apply the half two needles. Uh, yes. So I use the half tune needles rather than micro needles, but this is also applicable to apply. So now I just applying to the lower portion of the lobe. So this to be known as a tonsils and for them the central part to be known as a eye system. So right eye treatable for the right, right ear is treatable for the right eye and then the left ear, the eye point is treatable for the left eye. But further superior to the uh, eye region, this to be known as a tongue. So any tongue related issues, the speech related conditions, the other related, the stomatitis or the inflammation of the tongue conditions, certainly we can use this point. For the, the tooth related problem, certainly we can focus the upper tooth and then lower tooth problem, we can treat here and further we can apply the needle on this region as well. This also good for the overall for the tooth related disorders. So hopefully we try to, which is the most important, we'll try to see and the jaws also it covers the broad spectrum of the upper jaw and then lower jaw further it is the temporomandibular joint also connected to this region so hopefully for the lobe there are the nine division which in <coughs> In which what is required for us is, which is the most important, where the day-to-day -day clinical practice we use is. Then further we are coming to the, the interior level, that is the inferior concha and then Simba concha, we organ related disorders we will see. So first we will take out these needles, right. Then further we look into that, there is the inside of the Scavum concha and then Simba concha. Inside of the hollow of the ear depression, that to be known as a, all the internal organs are located. Now let me see one by one. So where exactly there is the endocrine system is located. What is located? Where is located? On the intertragic notch. This to be known as a, this area, lower portion of the, the cavum concha, that area to be known as a, it's called as a intertragic notch, that's a, the endocrine system and also cingulate gyrus as well. But now I wanted to apply this point is useful for the overall for the pituitary gland, adrenal gland and all the seven glands can be treatable by activating this point. Now coming to the deepest part of the cavum concha, deepest part which when I told you, you just take the one drop of the water and then put it the one drop of the water over here where the water get retention that area to be known as a heart system, that area to be known as a heart system, where exactly the heart is located, the deepest hollow part of the lower portion of the ear that's called as a cavum concha, that's known as a heart system. Then superior to that region, there are the heart, lungs is located, this to superior to that region is the upper lung and then is the lower lung is located so you can treat the heart is the center but superior and the lower portion of the cardiac system to be known as a pulmonary system is existing in this region. Now the anything on the lower portion of the cavum concha we try to treat for the thorax cavity or the anything chest cavity related disorders we can do the wonderful by using some of the points here. Now let me see there is the <clears throat> inferior crust of the helix.
so this is the helix this is the crest of the helix this region to be known as a crest of the helix you just apply to the center region of the helix the center region of the crust of the helix to be known as a zero point this to be known as a remember it is a zero point the, i think somebody is asking the vagus now vagus now can be treatable on the occipital region as well but again you can treat on the the zero point also good point to treat for the the brain system and for the for the balancing system and again it is the harmony and also secretion of the various hormones can be treated by activating this point and by the way it is the solar plexus also can be treatable by doing this the zero point i told you any inflammation anything related to the the young visera pulses you could not find so that time the young pulses can execute by using that point most of the times for the female we cannot find the pulses of the young pulses six pulses couldn't find that time you just apply the zero point again you just recheck you will get the some kind of the pulses then you understand what pulse is deficiency what pulse is having the excessiveness so overall for the balancing you just apply the zero point one or other way is always is good now come to the the after the zero point what is existing is stomach is existing after the zero point what is existing the stomach is existing then further after the stomach the another organ to be known as a spleen is existing after the stomach what is existing the spleen is existing but here i wanted to give you the easy format because the european ear mapping is slightly different but according to the paul embryological mapping is slightly different but however you need not to worry but the according to the the body image the embryological map how it is existing in the similar way we bring that then further we try to apply the liver point after the spleen what is existing the liver is existing after the liver what is existing gall bladder is existing after the gall bladder what is existing the kidney is existing after the gall bladder kidney is existing where the kidney is existing zero point is there superior to the zero point to be known as a renal system point but exactly below the kidney point the small intestine is existing now once the kidney is completed then the ureter is existing after the ureter what is existing the bladder bladder then the urethra is existing so exactly we completed this process then further after the stomach what is existing a small intestine is existing after the no our stomach get completed then further we can find the point to be known as a duodenum duodenum jejunum ileum collectively known as a small intestine after the small intestine what is existing on the simba concha this points are located on the simba concha now we let me complete it as a large intestine point further the point to be known as a rectum further the point to be known as a rectum there in the image you will get the lot of location in the ear but on the micro level of the ear but you will get the very very less and very very tiny place where you need to identify and then apply the needle on that region so hopefully we completed the entire internal organ pathological